Yo, what's up? Uh, I just got a package in the mail. Uh, I want to thank James for this uh, awesome Packmeyer rubber grip. Uh, this is the rubber grip that I put on my Glocks. These things are awesome. The, the reason why they're so awesome, and they're very cheap, I think they're like, I don't know, $11. Get them on the internet. Just, just Google uh, Packmeyer grip gloves. And you'll find a whole bunch of people that sell them. I don't know if JabTac sells them. I would check there first because uh, their shipping is fast and they have the, the best customer service ever. Or another place you could check is Fuddlebucks. Fuddlebucks has a lot of stuff like this. Uh, pretty easy to find. Um, I have one on my Glock 23. I have my I'm on my Glock 21. And... Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what I'll use this for, but um, you can use it on the 19, the 23, the 25, the 32, and the 38. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking at it. I would like to get uh, just just talking shit. I miss my Glock 22, but I don't think it would make sense to get a Glock 22 when you have a Glock 23, right? So, that's all. This is just a little video. I just want to show James that I got this in the mail. And thank you, James. You're a man of your word. You told me you were sending it to me. It came. I got it. And it's nice when people do what they say. Uh, very nice. I'll, I'll find use for that. Trust me. <sighs> I'm carrying my Glock 27 in my Fabus holster. There it is. It's a great little carry gun. Uh, this was on the chopping block for uh, being for sale because I needed money, but um, I did I did pretty good on the uh, Bulgarian, so uh, now I don't have to uh, uh, sell my Glock 27. I, I would never want to sell it, really. This is a great gun. As you can see, the trigger is forward, and that means that there is one in the chamber. That's kind of Glock's chamber indicator. Or it's a it's a cocking indicator. If you cock the gun on a Glock, if you're new to guns, the cham the chamber the trigger will sit forward like that. Now I'm not touching it because there's one in the chamber. So I'm going to make the firearm safe, and uh, best way to do it is always keep your hands away from the trigger guard, your fingers. Don't even go near the trigger guard. Take the magazine out first. I know you guys know this, but there's brand new gun owners. Keep your finger alongside, out of the trigger guard, and just pull the slide back and hold back. And just hold it, look at it, pull, lock it back. And uh, that's what I carry today. Very comfortable gun. Um, we got like 150 rounds through this with zero failures. Uh, I need to shoot it more. Right now, ammunition is pretty... It's not totally unavailable but it's 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 not available as it was a few months ago like you can go in walmart and you have it had mine anyway always had ammo i mean all the time and I, I would never walk in there and they did not have 40 they did not have nine millimeter you go in there now they ain't got shit they ain't got shit all they have is a uh, shotgun ammo so i asked a guy I'm like, are you guys going to restock, or are you going to be, are you guys going to be retarded and, and uh, panic because of this, you know, thing that does nut did? No, we're going to restock. We're going to restock. We just don't know when when it's coming in. So I, I don't know what to do at Walmart. What to make? Where they stand on the Second Amendment and our rights and all that? I, I don't know what Walmart's doing. It's like they're kind of with us and they're not. Because I heard if you go to Walmart now and buy a box of ammo, you can only buy three boxes at a time. Yeah, that's going to put a stop to everything. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's fine. Uh, really, that's not fine. I think it's crazy. Uh, they used to do that before. It was six boxes at a time. But it wasn't because they thought you were going to go shoot up a movie theater. It, thought it, was, it was consideration for other customers so they can have... So they can get some ammo too. Now it's three boxes at a time, and it's because of this crazy media that they're scaring everybody with gun gun laws and gun control. So 
I don't know. We gotta just weather the storm, man. Nobody has any answers right now. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. Uh, they're really picking on semi-automatics now. Now they're not saying assault weapons anymore. They're not even saying it anymore. Never saying semi-automatics, which is, uh, you know, we knew that was coming. But uh, I don't think that's happening. I don't even think the assault weapon ban's gonna go through. And, you know, I'm saying assault weapons. We, we all know it's not an assault weapon. We all know it's just a regular rifle. It's just a regular rifle that's decorative, like a military rifle. That's all it is. If you're new, if you're new to guns, an AR-15 sold to civilians is not a military rifle. It just looks like one. Because guys are like kids, and we want to have stuff that looks like the military has. Because it's fun. It's just like getting, it's like getting a Hyundai and, put, and putting a ground effects kit on it, or a spoiler on it. And you look at it, and it looks like it goes like 200 miles an hour. Well, we all know it can't get over past 90, because it has 90 horsepower or whatever. It's the same friggin' thing. An AR-15 is a semi-automatic rifle, and that's all it is. It's no different than a 30 out 6 It's no different than, you know, Mini-14. It's no different than any of those guns. It's no more, it's no more destructive than any of those guns. Actually, a bolt-action rifle with a 30 out 6 is way more destructive than an AR-15 is. So, if you're anti-gun watching this, you need to get educated. If you want to leave a nasty comment, go ahead. But I'm, I, I am educating you. This rifle, the civilian version, is not what you people call an assault rifle. It is not. It is just a regular rifle with military decorative effects on it. That's all it is. It's just like uh, if you buy a Ruger 1022. Look, the Ruger 1022, right? There's a good example. That is the most plainest, boringest, plain Jane semi-automatic rifle there is. It's a 22. And then you can make a Ruger 1022 look like that. So if I got a Ruger 1022 and it looked like that, then it's an assault rifle? No. No. They're not full automatic. One bullet comes out at each trigger pull. And I, and I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but there's a lot of new people watching these videos. I got a lot of new subscribers. We got a, like, I don't know, 10,000 new subs, like, I don't know. A lot in a very short period of time and a lot of them are new gun owners I get PMs all the time hey I'm new to this and you know I want to get into this now and because this is generating more gun owners you see when you threaten the Second Amendment the people that are attacking it they're 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 making their agenda more hard because more people are going to be against that because more people have common sense than stupid people do. There's a lot of stupid people, but there's a tremendous amount of people with common sense. Even non-gun owners know it's wrong to ban something that someone that's that's has no bad intentions ain't going to hurt anybody with. You know? I don't get it. I don't know. It's so old talking about this, but we got to talk about it. Uh... I don't know. What am I thinking about now? Well, I paid the debt off. Uh, I got some money I have left over. At least, you know, that's the nice kickback I got from that Bulgarian. It kind of was an investment, really, that gun. And uh, I'll be, I'm going to re either replace one of my handguns that I had to sell before, or I'd like to get a really nice shotgun. Um, I really want a Caltech KSG. I know... Nobody has them. Uh, I had one guy offer to sell me one, and I was trying to get something together to do it, and I don't know what happened to him. He, like, blew me off. I called him back. He never called me back. Thanks, bro. I had something together. I was ready to do it for you, but I don't know. I guess he found out and seen how much they were going on Gunbroker for and said, Fuck Pete. I'm going to go to Gunbroker and get a whole bunch of money for this thing. 
but I would like to get a, a Caltech uh, KSG. That's like, I would love to get one of those. Love to get one of those. So, um, but they are really expensive. I mean, you should see what they're asking for then. But I don't know. I'd, I'd have, I'd be willing to part with the Mossberg 590 and the money I had together. I'd be able to get a KSG. But you can't find them anywhere, so forget about it. Uh, my gun shop got one, and I told him to call me when he gets one, and he forgot. He sold it to some cop. Thanks, Mike. I'm not bringing no pasta in for you anymore. In other words, people forget. What are you going to do? Just an update. James, thanks for the glove. I'm showing the glove because people are always asking me, what's that grip on your Glock? There it is. It's the Packmeyer Tactical Glove. I'll see you guys soon.